Okay, so finally nothing has started rolling out Nothing OS 4.0 based on Android 16 for Nothing Phone, which includes Nothing Phone 2, 2A Plus, 2A, 3A, 3A Pro and Nothing Phone 3. In this video, we'll cover each and every change what Nothing have done with this update of Nothing OS 4.0. And you guys let me know, do you guys find Nothing OS 4.0 exciting with the features what they have added? But before that guys, if you find the content useful to you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing. So here we have Nothing Phone 3A Pro and towards the left hand side, I have my Nothing Phone 2. On both the devices, we have received the OTA update. First of all, let's take a look at the software info. So here you can see it says nothing OS 4.0. The layout have been completely changed. Instead of having that, you know, half image of the device, we have the full image of the device in the about section. And two huge tiles, one for nothing OS version and the second one for device name. So the build number ends with 1551 for nothing phone 3A Pro. And if you scroll down going to Android version, this latest build comes with 1st November 2025 security patch and you can also see the easter egg of Android 16. I received OTA update on both the devices. I was running the first open beta and over first open beta I received an OTA update size of 298 MB on this device and let me show you here on Nothing Phone 2. Nothing Phone 2 I have still not updated and you can take a look at the update size which is around 351 M. But if you guys were running Nothing OS 3.0, you'll receive an update somewhere around 3 GB plus. I'm not exactly sure, but yes, it'll be a huge update. You can see they have mentioned a lot of changes and few of them are not mentioned. One thing which I noticed soon after updating the device and that's related to the new boot animation present on Nothing OS 4.2. Here on this device also I'm running beta version, but still if you take a look at the boot animation, there are slight changes done with the boot animation if you compare it with the previous builds. So here you can see this is how it used to look before. And and here towards the right hand side, we have bigger circular icons moving towards the right hand side. So this is one change which you'll notice soon after updating a device to Nothing OS 4.0. And the second change what you'll notice and that's in the control center. So if you take a look at the control center and the status bar, you can see a clear change in the battery icon along with the battery percentage text and the Wi-Fi icon in the status bar. And the same changes have also been done in the control center. So this is how the previous icon used to look for the Wi-Fi and this is the new icon. So these are some of the minor changes what they have done in the icons of status bar, which also includes vibration icon, which looks bolder now along with the alarm icon. And guys, before moving ahead, a quick shout out to Gadget Shield. If you're using Nothing Phone 2, this all-in-one protection kit is honestly one of the best upgrade you can add. Starting with the Corning Ultra HD glass camera lens protector, they comes with a sapphire coating, anti-glare and easy align frame, so installation takes just few seconds. Then you also get RGB glyph skins in the red, green and blue color, which adds a style while protecting the glyph light from scratches. But the biggest highlight is this flex armor mat. It covers the screen, back and even the side frame, giving true 360 protection, a smooth matte feel, fewer smudges and self-healing glare. If you guys want to make a purchase link can be found in the description below and in the control center also they have done some changes like if you tap on edit now almost all the quick setting tiles do supports two into two shape so if i slide towards the right hand side here you can see we have a cast style if i tap on it you'll see an icon towards the right bottom side tapping on it you can increase the size of that particular tile like if you want the larger tile i mean two into two shape that can also be done and if you want the smaller one that can also be done so now almost all the quick setting tiles do suppose ability to resize and after that now if you tap on tiles like dnd you'll see a pop-up with different modes which lets you select do not disturb bedtime or driving and if you want you can also set different mode by tapping on the settings button and towards the bottom side here you have an option to create a different mode and whenever you tap on any of the icon you'll see the text towards the bottom side and after that another add on what they have done now whenever you slide the volume slider there's a slight haptic feedback it's not in the entire slider but whenever you reduce the volume to zero you'll feel an haptic feedback and whenever you increase the volume to max there also you'll see a haptic feedback so this is another thing what they have added and the same haptic feedback have been added in the notification panel also. So if you slide any of the notification towards the right hand side, you'll see a different effect also. And with that, you'll feel the haptic feedback. Either you swipe towards the left hand side or you swipe towards the right hand side. Also, after this update, a lot of users were claiming about the animation improvements on Nothing OS 4.0. But I personally did not find much of improvements here on Nothing Phone 3A Pro. It still lags sometimes. So I'm not sure whether they have worked on the animation part on Nothing Phone 3A Pro. But if you guys feel any difference, let me know in the comment section below. And another notification you'll see, soon you boot your device for the first time after installing Nothing OS 4.0. 
and that's the app optimization so guys i highly recommend to optimize the applications it do runs in the background so just tap on the optimization device will automatically start optimizing the application for better perform after that nothing have also made some changes in the stock icons so here you can see these are the new stock icons what you get to see and on this device if you see this is how they used to look let me open up app draw and show you guys so here you can see the camera icon after that the next stock application is gallery this is how the icon used to look before and if i show you here this is how it looks now and similar way if you scroll down and take a look at the applications like weather so here also you'll see a change in the icon and similar way they have done changes in the apps like recorder and other stock application and later on you'll also get to see two new clock styles with the latest update of nothing os 4.0 those are for the lock screen so this is one clock style and this is the second one but you still don't get any kind of options to customize the clock styles but one bad move what nothing have been doing with nothing os 4.0 and that's they are adding things like lock screen magazine so basically it can be found in the lock screen section called lock glimpse from here if you turn it on it's good thing that you can disable it but if you turn it on you'll see different wallpapers on the lock screen so for me it's personally an ad nothing was known for its stock experience but slowly they have started adding third party applications and even things like lock screen mags what are your thoughts about such add-ons on nothing phones let me know in the comment section below so after that talking about another add-on what they have mentioned in the change logs and that's in the intelligent toolkit so here now you have a dedicated section which says AI usage. So here it will show you the AI usage, what you have been doing on your device. I personally don't have any kind of records. Let me show you one example. So I'll record an audio and show you guys here. And whenever there is any AI being used in the background, you'll see this icon in the status bar. So here you can see, I just recorded an audio using essential key. And here it has provided me the AI usage. The AI which was used was Gemini 2.5 flash. So this way you can keep a track on the AI usage. And now you also have the option to hide applications directly from the home screen or the app drawer. So here if I select play store, let me select another application. So this is the application. You can see an icon towards the right hand side. If I tap on it, this application will be hidden. And you can find this application in the app drawer. There'll be a folder created called hidden. You need to verify first. And after that, you will be able to see those hidden applications. Same way you can do it here from the app drawer also. Long press on the application and you'll see an icon. In the app drawer itself, they have added the global search feature. So tapping on it, tap on these three dots. And here we have an option called search result setting. So from here, you can also customize the search results. So for example, if you don't want search results from contacts or messages, you can disable them. And then if you search anything from here, you'll see only results from those particular applications which you have enabled. Then they have also added more size options for the applications like pedometer, weather and screen time widgets. So going to widgets, if I scroll down, here we have the weather application and you can see we have different widgets now based on condition, tapping on it. If I tap, you'll see another pop-up from where you can select things like precipitation status or temperature. And the same way they have also done for the pedometer. So let me open up the pedometer here. Here we have the pedometer and these are new to added on nothing os 4.0 and nothing have also added this flip to record feature in the essential space but for that guys make sure after installing nothing os 4.0 you update the nothing essential app from the play store and after that if you want to record anything just flip your device and press and hold the essential key now the recording has started so this way you can record audio using flip to record feature recently added on nothing os 4.0 here you can see recording is already going on and after that they are talking about the introduction of playground where you can download unique creations from community including essential app camera presets and equalizer profile so this is not on the system you need to use their website which you can see on the screen and from here you can download the presets and other stuff which other community users have created after that they have also added extra dark mode with nothing os 4.0 so going to display and here we have the dark theme option if you enable it go inside the settings you can see we have an extra dark mode option if this thing is enabled you will see the pitch dark theme including control center and if you disable it you will see slight grayish background so this is a good add-on which i personally always wanted on nothing os 4.0 now under the glyph interface they have also made some changes under flip to glyph so from here you can now change ringing mode either you can set it as vibration mode or if you want you can also set it as silent mode so whichever is selected and whenever you flip the device that particular mode will be activated and after that under glyph progress bar now we do have the support of third party applications currently only calendar application do support so if you are enabling for the first time allow all the necessary permissions and later on if in the calendar application if you create any event so i'll tap this plus icon tap on event so current time is 6 47 so i'll just type test and i'll select the time which is 6 49 and if i tap on okay 
save it here you'll also see a notification here and if i flip the device and keep it you'll see that progress bar with the glyph light also currently they have added the calendar application in future they might add more applications and the last changes are related to camera application so first they are talking about the presets i'm not sure which all presets they have added as far as i remember the stretch preset have been recently added with nothing os 4.0 and if you guys haven't updated now with the latest update we have in total seven presets then they have also mentioned about motion photos which supports longer video and audio recording so this is the motion photo i'm not exactly sure i think still it's three seconds i couldn't find any setting to change the time but if you guys find it out let me know in the comment section below then the complete ui have been redesigned you can tap on this icon to check out the presets tap on this icon to see all the settings and they have also introduced a brand new watermark i think this is the new watermark so guys these are all the changes about camera other stuff i'll keep you guys posted in the in-depth review i'll mostly be posting the in-depth review of this device on monday so if you guys have any kind of questions drop them in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video